Hello everyone, myself Nishita, Assistant Professor, Department of CSIT, working at MLR Institute of Technology. In previous sessions, we have seen about mass storage structure and what are the disk structures and what in the disk structures we have seen about seek time, access time and what are the parameters performed by the disk structure. So, in this session, we are going to see about disk attachment. So, what do you mean by disk attachment? Let us see in this overview of this presentation. So, overview of this presentation, we are going to see about disk attachment. Disk attachments are of two types, network attached storage and uh, network attached storage and storage, st storage, secondary storage structure and next one is host attached structure. So, we are going to see about network attached structure, host attached structure and secondary structure. So, let us start our disk attachments. The disk attachment in a special feature that allows you to attach a disk. So, disk, disk attachment is nothing but attaching the disk to the attaching the disk is known as disk attachment such as a USB or any flash drive. So, it may be a USB or any flash drive to the computer's hard drive. So, whatever you are attaching the disk in the form of USB or any flash drive that are used to attach for your computer's hard, hard drive. So, user can use this feature to store files in the cloud or transfer files between computers on their network. So, user can uh, store the files or uh, files in the cloud or it can be or the files can be shareable. So, it may be transferred from one system to other system using the network. So, let us see what are the disk attachments are classified. So, the disk attachments are classified into three types. They are as follows. So, first one is host attached storage and network is, uh, second one is network attached storage and third one is storage area network. So, what are the three types we are using for disk attachment? First one is host attached uh, storage. Second one is network attached storage and third one is storage area network. So, let us start our first disk attachment. What is it? Host attached storage. So, host attached storage. It is a form of internal computer storage. It is some internal computer storage that can be attached to a host computer such as a PC or server. So, here we are using this host structure. Host attached structure this is host attached structure and this is c allocation table with disk interface disk cylinder track sector so disk this is something track and this is something sector this is attached to host host is operating system and this is allocation table so, how, it, how the host attached storage is done for this operating system? Host attached devices are often used for backup purposes. So, this host attached storage is used for backup purpose and they can include tape drives. So, they include some tape drives, optical drives, hard disk drives, solid state drives, USB flash drives and other similar media. So, whatever required for the backups, they may include such as tape drivers, optical drives and hard disk drives and some solid state drives and they may be USB or similar to some media. So, whatever they are required, they can be attached to this host attached storage. A common example of host attached storage is use of an external USB flash drive for data transfer between the computers. So, so some examples may be it the external connection between the USB flash drive for the transfer uh, transfer of data from one system to other system. This is one of the example for this host attached storage. 
This type of connection allows users to copy files from one device onto the another without having ha without having to connect them directly through their operating system to their operating systems file. So the connection uh, allows some users only some users who can uh, copy the files from one device to another without having the connection directly through their operating system. So the file sharing functionality this means that you don't have access rights over your own system if someone else has access. So accessing giving some uh, access for the authorized persons who can share or who can transfer the data from one system to other system. That is what only is uh, only the persons can who are the authorized uh, give authorized users can access the files. Why? Because they will be having some permissions to access that files or else the in other case the unauthorized persons whoever they want to send the data they cannot send. Why? Because the permissions will be denied for the unauthorized. So only the right authors or right users whoever having the access for the files they can be easily shareable. So this is what how the host attached storage works. Host attached storage usually very fast. It is very fast which makes a popular choice for high performance applications. So it makes some high application performance. This is what how the host attached storage works. Next one is network attached storage. So network attached storage, it is a computer that is connected to a network shared by multiple users. So some kind of network is connected and the files can be shared to n number of users. That is what giving the giving the files information to n number of users by sharing through a network. NAS can also be called as file server or an storage appliance. So it is nothing but a file server or any storage appliance. The term storage refers to any device that stores data. This includes hard drives and flashes memory modules. So the term storage requires some kind of devices and they store the data and includes hard drives and flashes memory modules and includes some flashes memory modules. NAS has its own processor and memory. It has its own processor and memory. So it can perform many tasks. So it can perform n number of tasks to complete its work simultaneously without slowing down other devices on the network. So it may be easily done by not disturbing or not uh, slowing down the systems by other network. This makes an ideal solution for business who need high availability but don't have enough CPU power available at their desktop or laptops. So in this network attached storage, the business ideal solution for the people has the high availability but they don't have enough space in the CPU for the power capability in the desktops or laptops. So maybe some uh, requirement uh, should be done through this NAS or else it cannot be done. So NAS systems are often used to backup solutions. So it is used to for it is used for some backup solutions for PCs because they allow users to access files from anywhere in the world through remote access services provided by vendors such as semantic remote access server. So NAS are often, are, are often used as backup solutions. So it is one of the solutions for the backup and the PCs, uh, PC users are accessing the files from anywhere throughout the through some remote accessing powers and they, uh, such vendors are known as semantic remote access server. So when here how the network attached storage is connected. So here network attaches uh, storage network attached. So LAN or WAN. So 
this LAN or WAN connection is done through some clients, n number of clients. So, how they can access? So, let us see. So, here I am taking some client server. So, remote. So, client is sending some requests. So, I am having here LAN or WAN. And here I am sending to server. So, client is sending some message. Client is sending some message to server through some network and the server is sending some acknowledgement. So, this is done by what? Network. So, that network may be LAN or WAN, local area network or wide area network. So, the, without this network, can I send the messages or mails for client to server? No, it is not possible. Until and unless the network connection is attached, then only I can send or I can receive the message from client or server. This is what how the functioning of this network attached storage is done in the operating system. Next one is storage area network. How the storage area is done? In this storage area network are a network of storage devices that can be used to store and retrieve the data from a shared central repository. So, it can be shared or retrieve or store from the central repository. A storage area network is usually used for large data storage and retrieval. It is used for large data storage and to retrieve the data, which requires high availability, scalability, reliability and performance. It requires some high availability, high availability of this uh, network and scalability it should be very large area and reliability can uh, perform some areas only. That is what how they are going to perform. The most common type of storage area storage area network uses some fiber channel adapters to connect the host with its disk arrays. So, it may be connected some disk arrays in the form of uh, connection through LAN or WAN and there may be a disk arrays. A block based storage protocol like fiber channel protocol allows multiple devices within the same fabric to communicate with each other in order to share resources such as this or tape drivers. In this a block storage protocol named it as fiber channel protocol nothing but FCP. It allows only multiple devices and they can fabric or communicate with each other in order to share the resource. Uh, that may be a tape drivers or any disk drives. So, this is possible only through FCP, nothing but fiber channel protocol. Uh, in contrast to other protocols such as ISCSI or network file system NFS, FCP, FCP does not require any special software drivers on either end because all the communication takes place using standard protocols like TCP or IP. So, in context to other protocols that may be a network file system or FCP, that does not require any kind of software until and unless uh, they communicate taking place with the standard protocols, nothing but TCP or IP internet protocol or transform control protocol transmission control protocol. These two protocols can ca easily communicate until and unless network file system or FCP does not require any special software. Another common type of uh, storage area network uses a network called infinite band. So, infinite band is used to communicate to this SAN. It is one of the common type for InfiBand, which is a high speed serial interconnect 
that provides better performance than traditional ethernet networks so it may be a storage area network that can be infiband and it is performed with the high serial interconnect and interconnection and provides a better performance than traditional ethernet networks it provides better than than the traditional ethernet networks in the high performance and it performs very high so how this san is connected to storage areas and this uh, storage area networks are connected to server and data processing center and web provider web content provider so it may be connected some through some lan or wan and here the information is uh, taken or uh, retrieved from the clients so this is what how the working of the storage area network placed in the operating system so in this session we have seen about disk attachments disk attachments are of three types what are they host attached storage host attached storage and network attached storage and next we have discussed about secondary storage area secondary nothing but storage area network so these are the three attachments host attached storage network attached storage and storage area network so these are the three attachments which we are used for the disk attachments if you have any doubts you can comment in comment box thank you